The first cruise to the Caribbean since spring is not going well. Several people have tested positive for COVID on board. The ship had a very rigorous testing schedule, more rigorous than what some of the big lines are planning to do when they come back in a few months. It's just so disappointing that this has happened because everybody had their hopes up high and we can't see anything more that they could have done. It's just such a horrible virus. It just gets everywhere, even with the constant testing. Sea Dream had hoped to be a model for returning safely to cruising. And really, if they can demonstrate we had a case, we acted immediately and there were no further cases, that would provide much more confidence in the cruise industry. Global communicable diseases expert Jill Roberts talked to us about the idea of larger cruise lines holding mock cruises. Royal Caribbean had thousands of people volunteer to see if they can safely sail without any virus outbreaks. Roberts doesn't think now is the time to be having this conversation. We're seeing coronavirus doing what, unfortunately, we thought coronavirus would do, which was resurge in the fall. So uh, we, we are having a conversation about an option, cruising, right, which could put people at risk of losing their lives. And so I, I think it's unfortunate that there is so much interest, really. She talked about how masking would be hard to enforce on cruises with constant eating. And as we're learning, even with rigorous testing before and during the cruise, it is possible to have outbreaks. It can take several days after contracting COVID to test positive. But by that point, the damage has been done. If they've traveled all over a ship and interacted with tons of different people who will in turn interact with different people. And so truly, yes, you can quarantine. Yes, you should. You should get those people off the ship if you can. But remember, the first time this happened, we had ships sitting off of shores of countries that refused to take them. So there's no reason why we wouldn't have that actually happen again. Ultimately, Roberts thinks it would be safer to cruise again when vaccines are available. Bring, being a private industry, cruise lines could require proof of vaccination before accepting passengers.